Johnny. What's happening, man? We in Springwork Studios with Boston George. What's up, Boston George? What's happening? Shit, everything is everything, man. Shit, I ain't see you in a minute, my boy. Where you been at? That shit, I'm just dope, dog. Staying out of the way. I see, I see. Trouble easy to get in, hard to get out. I see. Cracker done called me so much money. Damn, what kind of trouble you been in, too? See, gun charges. Oh, yeah, that shit is different. You got to stay out that shit. Yo. So check this out, man. Let's get into it. My famous question. I got to ask everybody. Tricking is the subject. Trick. <laughs> you ever trick the famous forty dollars? Everybody ever trick. To be honest, I think I might have been the first one to use forty dollars. I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> All right, so what the forty dollars get you? Forty dollars get you about fifteen minutes. You get top shots. You do what it do. Forty dollars make the world go wrong, man. So forty dollars to get you some top and back shots, All right? Yes, sir. So damn. So that's your limit, forty dollars. You don't go over forty. I try to stay at 40. That's the beginning price, but I ain't going no more than 100. <laughs> so that's the most you ever paid was 100? The most I ever paid was 100. So what's up, baby? Cleo. What's the, there. what's the least you ever paid? Uh, might be about a damn double cheeseburger meal from McDonald's. Oh, damn. Yeah, something to eat. All right, so listen, for people that haven't tricked before, right? What's the process? Like, let's start by this. What's your favorite spot you know you're going to find a good one at? Get them for the good 40. Man, I just inbox them on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, and they bite back. I ain't gonna like to talk a lot, so I just tell them straight up, yo, I got $40, like, what's up? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna take that $40 and give me my five minutes and get on and see if we can do it like that? But if I'm out at the club, I'm probably gonna pull up at Atlantis. They there, they honing. <laughs> so, so, you pull up at Atlantis, you get them for $40, they go, they go jump on it. Yes, sir. Where they, you take them at? See, Days in, 601. I'm so, always there. So, <laughs> so look, you pay the forty dollars and you get a room. Yeah. So how much the room is? Room about eighty dollars. So you gonna pay more for the room? Yeah. yeah. So I gotta stay the night too now. She gonna stay the night? No, with she you? can't stay the night. After I, after I get me, you gotta go. Oh, so you pay yeah. more for the rooms to have yeah. you somewhere comfortable to sleep? Yeah. After you, after I get me, she gotta go. All right, babe. Kick out. No clothes on. Get on out of here. So how you tell her to go? Like. I used to tell like, all right, it's over with. You yeah, got to... I got something to do, boy. You got to got down slide now. I'll let you. <laughs> so that's what you tell them? Yeah. See, I ain't even know their name, none of that. All right, like, so I... listen. How you approach them, though? How you approach them? See, yo, let me, yo, what's up, bro? Let me get the number or something, bro. See, she give me the number. I shoot a little text. Like, we doing, bro? Pull up. I'm here at this spot. Pull up. See, come in the room. I ain't got time for no talking, bro. Put your mouth on the dick. Shut up. So you give them the $40? I'll bet. Afterwards. So, no, 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 no. So... You tell her to pull up first, then you offer the $40? Or you she tell already, her in the text? Yeah, in the text. She already know what's going on. Everything already done talked about. Terms and conditions already established. <laughs> no signature or nothing? Nothing. Man, so look, Boston George, where you get the name Boston George from, bro? Um, I want to say it was a long story, but, you know, I used to do my little thing back in the days. Till my auntie got down, kicked me out of her house, and I had to stop. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So the, so the Boston George name really comes like from the streets. Yeah, from the streets, man. You know Boston George, you know that that's a little popular drug dealer or whatnot, or whatnot. Um, I did what I did back in the day. I feel you. So listen, when you come out to the clubs, man, I see you come like six, ten, fifteen deep. You feel me? With y'all crew, and I know like, oh, uh, y'all came to Cleveland Cookout, and y'all had uh, y'all slogan on it. What, what's y'all slogan? Claw. <laughs> All right, so why, where y'all get that from? Hey, man, Bernie Mac started it. We picked it up and we kept it going, man. So instead of saying law, we say claw. All that too. <laughs> so, so check this out. Right. So in the club, the nightlife, we see you. We well, we used to see you in the nightlife a lot. Like, like what? Why you kind of fall back? Cool, man. It's just. I'm just trying to really trying to stay out of the way. I'm okay. tired of getting in trouble, doing dumb shit, and getting too over that shit now. I feel you. So look, I know y'all boys used to you know come to the club, tear some clothes up every now and then, man. Like, what well, good nights y'all boys pop your bottles and chill, but then how you feel about that? Like, shit, do y'all go in the club just to like sit, fuck it, set that bitch off, or y'all be like, shit, I'ma chill, but some shit happens. Nah, bro, we just go in there, we go in there with the mindset to just chill, find a little something, scheme on. Get on through, but you know, just like you say, shit happens. 
I feel so. What's the what's the number one thing in the club that'll piss your ass off? Just no like, all right. It's like if a nigga do this particular thing, you just know it's gonna piss you off, and it's most, all in for them. Most of the time, it's already gonna be established, bro. And I'm I'm the type of person, bro. Like you can bump them guns all you want to, bro. But when we up and we face to face, you gotta have that energy, bro. Cause I'm gonna goddamn get my man. <laughs> so listen, so about gangs and arms, bro. Right. So how you feel about gangs? Where that's, we from? That shit ain't got no structure no more, man. Niggas just wild, young, dumb, crashing out. They ain't lead, they ain't getting led the right way. How you feel it's supposed to be? Supposed to get money. Supposed to get money. It's a brotherhood. Get money, stay out of the way. That's it. Ain't supposed to be around here doing all that dumb shit. People with a nigga could hear rag a different color. I feel you. So check this out. Back door, and that's another subject we want to touch bases on. Back door, you feel like back door is a go or a no go? Nah, I'm going through the front door. <laughs> I ain't supposed to be here, then fuck it, I ain't coming. <laughs> so, you okay? Like, alright, so the, what I'm really trying to ask, alright, so let's say it's a chick that you trying to get at. You know she got a, a nigga. But you want to smash to see what's up with her. You want to, you going to go for the kill or you want to fall back? If she giving me the time of day in the conversation, I'm going to keep it going. <laughs> That's it, straight up. So she, it's up to her how far we take it. I ain't going to goddamn pressure the situation. I ain't going to disrespect her nigga. But she, if she giving me the time of day, I'm going to go get that. Especially if I want it. Eventually, I'm going to get it anyway. <laughs> so let's say, all right, so let's say if you catch a dog, old lady fucking off with another nigga. You gonna tell her? Or, I mean, you gonna tell your dog, or you just gonna play it cool like you ain't see shit? Oh, that's my dog. That's my wrong. I'm gonna tell him. See, he gonna know anyway, cause I'm gonna beat the shit out of both of them. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you you see your your dog old lady out there with somebody else? You just gonna go straight getting on their ass? Oh yeah. Fuck. Best believe. It. Yeah. Cause I know he gonna do the same shit for me. Yeah. So listen, man. I don't really want to get all the way into details like that, but I see your name being thrown around like that on social media about chicks and all kind of other shit, man. Like, I'm gonna let you do the talking. Is it like what you feel about that? How you feel about people, you know, throwing your name out there? I see you don't really take it serious or nothing like that. But how you feel about people throwing your name in a mix, like, well, involved with other females and other? kind of other shit how you feel about it hey man if i talk to you it is what it is i mean but i don't really be fucking with nobody out here it's a lie i don't <laughs> pay no attention though you would know if i fuck with somebody i feel you i feel you so, so check this out the music scene the music scene is, is being big where are we from you know north carolina already on the map because the baby you know, South Carolina behind it with a lot of artists. You know, so who your favorite artist is, like, uh, from the Carolina? See, that nigga missed him. Shout out that mob nigga. Shout really? out Mr. PG Rock, he blowing. He gonna blow up too. So you feel like them the next ones to blow? Yeah, if my boy Deez didn't get locked up, he would've been up top too. For real, so, so that leads to my next question, support, right? Uh, how you feel, how you feel uh, about support, like, you support people just because? Like, what makes you support somebody? I mean, see, if I feel like, goddamn, you doing what you doing, ain't no hating my game, bro. I'm gonna goddamn ride that way, too. I ain't hating no no nigga. Bitch, so, so check this out, right? Well, uh, if you was an artist, who would you want to do a feature with? Besides Mr. and PG Rock. Um, Lil Wayne, man. That's my favorite rapper in the whole wide world, man. If I get a chance to goddamn do a song with Lil Wayne, I'm going to go bananas. <laughs> in South Carolina. In South Carolina? Yeah. Um, it's hard to see, man. Probably Crazy Old Billy, man. I like that nigga, yo. For real? You fuck with him? Yeah, I fuck with Crazy Music. Keep it 100. I feel you. That was up. That was happening. That was happening. So, so check this out. It was one night we was in Atlanta, right? And I don't know what the fuck had happened. I just see some feet in the air, right? <laughs> Tell us what the fuck happened that night. See, that bitch got there caught me off surprise too, but shit, some little shit went on on Facebook. 
My man say, got down when he see my man, he gonna got down do what he do and shit. He saw, he did what he did. That's how we coming, bro. That's how it is. So check this out, man. We doing something new, man. We got uh, Slim Biggie just tapped in. But uh, man, what's good, my boy? Y'all see it, Slim Biggie. <laughs> you know it, you know it. So, man, hey, Slim Biggie, go ahead and ask him what you want to ask him. Hey, look, man. Them Claude County boys, them boys don't get in all that. Just me. I'm the only one that's spending that $40. So when we get them girls to come through, see, that's it free. They know what they coming there for. They know who all there. They don't go just like we don't go. Shout out my brothers. They don't do that no more, though. Them boys fake for now. Most of them. All right, so check this out, man. I got an exclusive question for you, man. So check this out. So, we're going around that you had a threesome. <laughs> With two females that we all know. <laughs> so tell us how this came about. I ain't telling you the name, no names. But how this shit come about, bro? I don't be having sex, man. I, I, I ain't had sex since I had my son, man. I don't know what you talking about. So the so the three the threesome shit is fake. That shit a lie. Damn. That shit a lie. They lying on you. They lying on me, man. My boy just got my name in the mix. It uh, might be about to come about, though. You, you might be about to make it happen. Nah, I ain't gonna make it out. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna make it out. I don't even that no more. All right. Bet, man, this is my boy Boston Jordan, man. Y'all tune the fuck in, man. Follow my boy. Tell him how to follow you, man. Man, I'm on Facebook, Boston Roo Joy. I'm on Instagram, Boston Roo 45 Bix. And I'm on Snapchat, Pablo Santee, man. Y'all boy follow me, man. Yeah, y'all boy keep up with my dog, man. Y'all gonna see him on the scene again. You know what I'm talking about? I'm about to pop out real soon. Framework already, man. Fuck with me.